Ed Geddes is a Trotta friend of the show and a really well-known person in paid search. He is one of only two people who are qualified AdWords instructors, and he wrote the book on AdWords, Advanced Google AdWords. I think he also has a quality score book out these days, too. Brad, but definitely a longtime practitioner in the space and very smart guy, so this would be cool. His tip for us is the impression share report. He says it's a great and often underused metrics, and it's one of the simplest ways to understand an account's performance and predict how well the account can do if properly optimized. So let's explain a little bit of what impression share means. Google explains it like this. If the number of impressions that it is possible for you to get looks like a pie, the impression share report shows you what size of that pie you are able to get. So I will tell you how to get to the impression share report, and then we'll talk about what you can do with this data. And it can be pretty cool to sort of identify areas of opportunity, places where you can really move the needle by making some relatively small changes. When looking at your AdWords account, it can often be very daunting because you can see these parts that are suffering, but you don't know specifically what it is, where you should use your time that can more specifically make a difference. So to get to impression share in your campaigns, uh, you go to customize and you can actually choose a few of these impression share reports out of the competitive metrics section. And a few things to note here, impression share reporting is available at a few different levels throughout the campaign. Uh, looking at it at the campaign level is cool. You can also look at it at the ad group level. The nuance there, there's a couple different dimensions to impression share. They'll let you look at display impressions, search impressions, lost impressions, lost impressions due to exact match. So there's a couple different ways to look at it. Um, at the campaign level, one of the ones that is the most basic and I think probably widely used is impression share lost due to budget. That's going to be Google earmarking. If you, if you change nothing else with the campaign, how much are you losing just because you're capping your daily spend? So for some of you out there that are, are thinking, oh, I've used this before, this isn't that advanced, we're going to talk about some ways to use this and drill down a little bit deeper. Great. So we're going to talk specifically about, you know, Matt and I were talking about this before the webinar, and we think the two that are the most valuable to look at, especially if you're just getting into looking at impression share, are the search loss impression share rank and the search lost impression share budget. So later on when you're trying to figure out how to uh, how to set up your impression share columns so that you can see this data, these are the two that we suggest you to start with. And just a quick note here, um, impression share, as I said, shows you the slice of the pie, the amount of the pie that you are able to get. And if you increase or decrease the size of your region, you'll see that number cha that change. And so, uh, you know, some of the people we spoke with said that they were alarmed when this happened. So um, just keep in mind that as you change the size of the pie, the size of the pie will change. So moving on, what we can really understand is if we are losing impressions. And this is the information that Brad sent us. He says when you combine impression share and quality score pivot tables, you can easily see where you're losing impressions and why. So we dug a little deeper into this idea. We pulled some of the impression data. And Matt, if you can talk a little bit about what we're seeing here, we searched by, or we sorted by search loss to see areas of opportunity. Yeah, so if you look at the far right column, and I know this uh, screenshot's a little bit small. It will show you, I believe this is at an ad group level, the search impression share lost, I believe, due to rank. They don't show you lost due to budget at the ad group level. So um, when you are comparing search impression share to rank, they're saying if you are ranking higher, your search impression share will be greater. Some people scratch their heads and say, well, you know, if there's always eight ten results on the page, how can the difference between position five and position three change my impression share? It has a lot to do with a few things. One, as Google's loading more dynamic content and engaging kind of rich content on these pages, if they put a local map or links to YouTube, they are varying the amount of ads you might see on a page. So sometimes falling into position five and six no longer puts you on that first page, depending on the rich elements that they're adding. Also, if you're opted into Google School Search Partners, Sometimes those partners will only show ads from the top, you know, one to four spots, depending on the partner. So you could be losing impression share uh, from their partner network as well. So when you see that variance, that's what accounts for that. So um, Brad suggested that we compare impression share data with quality score data. So 
Matt, do you mind talking a little bit about how we can find quality score data? And then we'll talk about the difference at what levels we can compare quality score and impression shared data. Well, I don't know if this is a little bit of Brad showing off or not, because when he sent us this, uh, I was scratching my head saying, oh, that's actually a little bit hard to do because you don't get impression shared data down at the keyword level. And so it's tough to evaluate directly against um, quality score based on what's available in the Google UI. Um, we'll talk about a little easier way that we use to do it, but I think Brad was referencing a script-based way that you can pull out all the data, get it in Excel, and create a pivot table. You know, while we're interested in doing kind of the advanced uh, PPC tools today, I think you guys writing scripts to pull data out of AdWords is probably a little too ninja even for this. Um, it's a very specific set of tools if you're doing this with bulk data. Uh, certainly, you can investigate it, and I included a screenshot here that uh, we found from some Google help, and it is possible. Give your AdWords help a, a once through, and you can find some information on the scripts. We'll show you a little bit easier way we, we chose to do it, not for the whole campaign, but to look at a subset. So you could write this script, and there there was a link. I'll actually go back and show you this link again. And um, At deepfootprints.co.uk, we found a really smart way to write uh to write an AdWords script, which allows you to track quality score at all the different levels. You can you can track it at all the levels that Google doesn't automatically provide it for you. Um, but we're going to talk about how you can more manually just take a look at ad groups that are missing impressions and take a look at the keywords that are on the inside. So again, I know that your screens are a little bigger than ours. It's actually a little harder for us to see here because we have a whole dashboard here. But um, one thing that we thought was really interesting over here uh, is that we have on one of these, uh, we have a 2.3 position, and then on another one, we have like a 6.6 .6 position. And we're looking directly at the keyword level within one of those ad groups that was identified by looking at the impression share report. Yeah, so when you've got that impression share report at the ad group level, you can sort it by lost impression share. And then you would target the ad groups with the highest lost impression share. So in this particular ad group, we're missing maybe 60% of the potential impressions. You then drill into that ad group and try to correlate that with keywords and their respective quality scores within that ad group. And what we see here is as the quality scores are higher, the lost impression or you know, the position also becomes higher, which means it's less indicative that you are losing impression share on those high position keywords. So there's obviously always a correlation. Higher quality score should render you in higher position, which should decrease your lost impression share. So what you want to do is isolate keywords in an ad group that may have a particularly low quality score and figure out what is it about that keyword that you may be able to change. Is it that it has a low click-through rate and maybe should get broken into its own ad group so you can place it with a more specific ad? Is it that it's too low a match type? It's a broad match and it's getting cross-served with a ton of irrelevant content, and that's driving down your click-through rate, again, uh, decreasing your quality score. Or maybe it's just less relevant to the ad in the landing page, and you should, again, break it out into a separate ad group to target a different landing page that may be more relevant. So as you move, you know, isolate those bad quality score keywords, maybe move them into their own ad groups, you have a chance to lift that quality score, which is going to decrease your lost impression share. And as a reminder, this is just an example. In the impression share report can show you areas of opportunity that go just beyond quality score. It's possible that you may need to increase your bids or your budget. These are the types of things that you can learn from this report. Yes, absolutely.